Hi, I'm Trish from trishnewbury.com PDF Sewing Patterns and welcome to the tutorial for the reusable 4 cup coffee holder. So for this you're going to need some reasonably sturdy woven fabric. So by that I mean a canvas or um, a polyester canvas like for outdoor furniture. Um, this is a cotton canvas. You could sew with a hessian, a burlap, that would be quite cool as well. Um, just something reasonably um, sturdy. If you choose something lighter, maybe like a linen or a hemp or anything like that, um, it's probably a good idea to uh, put a layer of fusible interfacing, some fuse in the fabric, just to make it a little bit sturdier. Um, entirely up to you. Okay, so when you're ready, let's get started. Um, our seam allowances are going to vary between 6mm and one centimeter, so that's between a quarter inch and three eighths of an inch, and I'll just step you through it as we go. So let's get started on the straps. So let's get started with the straps. You will have four pieces of straps. We're going to sew them two together, so place them right sides together. And the seam allowance for the straps is one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. So we're going to sew down this side and then down this side. Now we're going to turn those straps through so they're wrong sides together. For this I'm going to use my turning tool. So when you've got that turned through, what we're going to do is sew a top stitch around about quarter inch, six mil from either side. So you might find it easier to press this first, but when you press, make sure those seams are pushed all the way out to the edge. And try and keep your stitching as straight as possible. And don't forget to repeat that for the other strap. Oh, so then go to your iron and give those a press and we can move on. So put your straps away somewhere safe and let's work on the insert pieces. So we have two of them. So let's start with one of them. So the insert pieces are a rectangular shape and um, down one end you're going to have notches. So here are my notches here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half top down so that my notches match. And what we're going to do, those notches are to help us turn this fabric through. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around here to the notch and then on this side around here to the notch and the seam allowance we're going to use for this is one centimeter three-eighths of an inch. Just remember to back tack at the beginning and end. So trim off that excess fabric in the corner by mitering. Just leave a small gap. And then turn that through so we have wrong sides together. Right. 
Right, so once you have that done, make sure your corners are pushed out and then we're going to close that seam. So what that means is, oh that corner's not behaving itself for me today, is we want to just keep that seam allowance going at one centimetre, three eighths of an inch. We're just going to fold that over and we're just going to top stitch that closed through the edge. Just stitch a small amount in from the edge, so that's maybe two mil, so that's like an eighth of an inch. And don't forget to back tack. Alright, so um, go ahead and repeat that, so we have two of them. I won't show you how to do the other one, I'll just jump straight ahead. Now we have two that are exactly the same, so go to your iron and give that a really good press. And then if you haven't done it already, mark the centre with chalk. So if you haven't transferred it off your pattern piece, all you have to do is fold it in half and chalk a line through the centre. Or mark it with a pen, with a erasable marker, whatever you like to do. Then what we're going to do is making sure that the seam that has the stitching on it is at the bottom, so the fold edge is our top. We're going to place these on top of each other and we're going to stitch them together through that centre line. Remember to back tack at the beginning and end. Here are our side pieces and before you start make sure you mark in the chalked line. Now the pattern says we have a drill hole so your drill hole will be around about here and it says to chalk it in and what we are doing is basically we're drawing a line between that drill hole and the notch at the hemline. When we start stitching, drill holes are marked at one centimetre, three eighths of an inch. So that means is we want to stitch one centimetre before it. So this is the stitch line and just hold that thought for a moment. So now on each of those four pieces that you've marked in the stitch line, go to your iron. And this is just to help us memory, um, just to help us later on to do the hem. Press under six mil quarter of an inch and then press under again at the notch marks. So the total here is four centimeters at the top. I can't remember what that is in Imperial. I'll mark that below. All you have to do is quarter of an inch and then at the notches. All right, so do that on all four pieces. Now what we're going to do is sew two of these together. So open those pressed hems up and we're going to sew the side together and we're going to sew it at six mil, quarter of an inch. Now we're going to go and attach the next one to it, so place those right sides together. And same thing. and another. So we want the four panels joined together. Now we're going to come back to the insert, so fold all these three panels on the right, just roll them up on top of each other to get them out of the way, and we're going to start working on this panel here. So take your insert and make sure the fold is at the top and that the seam is at the bottom and just take one of those and we're going to place it like so. So remember before I said the drill hole was marked at one centimetre. If we imagine a line, one centimetre, uh, a spot, one centimetre in and down, so that's three eighths of an inch there, put a pin in it and then we put a pin onto the drill hole underneath, that is the placement for our insert. So what we're doing is if we imagined a one centimetre three eighths of an inch seam here 
we want that to sit on top of our chalk mark here. So this edge here needs to overlap it by that amount. So when you have that in the correct place, and you'll know it is because you'll have just over one centimetre, three eighths of an inch at the bottom, come here to the top and stitch that into place. So remembering we want the stitch line we're stitching to be exactly on the stitch line underneath. And remember to back tack. So now we're going to move across to the next panel. What we're going to do is take the insert piece that's to the upper side of that and bring that over like so. So we're now going to repeat the process. Here's the notch at the bottom, that's the stitch line. We want this to be one centimetre past that. And we want our drill hole position here to be at the drill hole underneath. And then we're going to stitch that down in a nice straight line. So if we kept stitching, we'd be stitching directly onto that notch. Okay, so we're moving to the next panel now. So I'm taking the, the insert on top, the next one, lift it up and over, and so. And the last one, next panel, up and over. So now we need to sew this last piece, the side, to the side here. So what we're going to do is just rearrange it by folding it in half. And we want to sew that seam to that seam. Just make sure this part in the middle is out of the way. And when we sew that, we want to sew that at 6mm quarter of an inch. Now we're going to sew the bottom onto this. So the bottom has notches at the center on all four sides. So this folded edge is the top and we're coming to this bottom edge here. Now this is going to seem really strange because of all of the stuff, but we have to sew this to each of the four corners. And this is a little bit awkward, but, but you'll be fine. The trick to this is just to do it slowly, start at a seam and work your way around. So find one of the lower seams here. And we're going to match the bottom to it. So these seams will overlap by 6mm, quarter of an inch. Okay, so match this so that this is overlapping by 6mm, quarter of an inch like this. You could pin this into place. And don't start sewing at that edge. Start an inch or so in from the edge. So it might just be easier if I showed you. So just take your time on this one. So we have notches to match as we go to make it easy. So just start off by doing a back tack and stitch along. And make sure your first notch in the center matches. And that notch is going to be directly under one of those insert pieces. So when we sew, just make sure you don't catch that insert as we go. It'll make more sense while you're sewing it. It is a bit awkward because of this bulky bit. But let's just do this, okay. So sew through there. We should miss it by around about a quarter of an inch. And then just stitch through to the next seam intersection. So when you stop 6mm quarter of an inch,
from the end, from the corner of that bottom piece, your needle should be directly in the seam, one of the four corner seams. So stop with your needle down, lift, and all you need to do is turn that bottom piece around at a right angle, pop that down and start stitching again. And then just keep rearranging this. Match your next notch and stitch. Now if you're struggling with sewing it this way you can always turn it over and sew it the other way and I'll show you what I mean by that, I'll just stop there. So if we turned it over this way, um, you might just find it a tad easier because what will happen is those insert pieces are on top and it's a little bit easier to avoid them and you could just match those centres and sew from the centres out. See how it's really easy to just push that out of the way when you're sewing from this way. Um, it's entirely up to you. So you could just sew down and instead of having to pivot in the corners what that means is you could just stop right on the edge of the seam there and back to it. And then when you start the next one you could just roll that over and start right on the corner and sew back. Whichever method works for you is fine. I'm actually thinking that's probably an easier way. These seams are all going to be hidden in a French seam very shortly, so it really doesn't matter which way you sew it. Right, so turn that through and push those edges out and your bag will be starting to take shape. So just make sure you've got nice sharp corners. Okie dokie. Alright, so now we're going to start on the French seaming. And the easiest place to French seam first, and it makes it sit up better, is that seam at the bottom that we've just sewn. So if you put the tote with the top at the top, what we're going to do now is push that seam all the way to the outside and just stitching through, so this is the side and that's the bottom, start 6mm quarter of an inch before the corner and finish the same distance before the end and just stitch that from one side to the other over each of the four bottom corners, bottom edges. <laughs> So that's one of the bottom sides done. I'm moving on to the next one. Just repeat that. So 
So those four bottom sides will just help that bag sit up a little bit better. Take your straps, your handles, and we're going to work on those now. You need to um, choose two sides. The bag's symmetrical, so just we'll start on one side and then you need to stitch the other strap to the opposite side. We'll just work that through. So just come to a seam on one of these and take a strap and what we're going to do is we're going to, at that seam, remember how we memory press that into place? So what we're going to do is go as if we were going to sew the seam into place, sorry the hem, the top hem into place like this and just put that strap in there, just sandwich it and push it all the way up to the ironed fold at the top. So the placement we want for this is we want it to be around about one centimeter three eighths of an inch in from the side seam. Can you see that there? And we want the top of that pushed all the way up to the fold and we're going to stitch, edge stitch through this edge here. So you'll notice that the folded edge here should butt directly um, onto the top of one of those insert pieces. So that should pretty much just line up like that. So stitch across. And now we need to um, put the other side of that strap in. So remembering not to twist it, just curve it round and do the exact same position on the other side. So push it in want it to be around about one centimetre, three eighths of an inch in from that seam. Make sure it's perpendicular at right angles to that edge and then stitch through to hold it down. Okay. So the next side we're going to stitch all the way over to the next seam without worrying about putting a strap in because that we need to put the strap in the opposite edge. So just stitch all the way across this one. So now we're at the third side, so take another strap, place that in, stitch across. And then the fourth side, stitch all the way back to your starting position. So bring those straps up and around and we're going to French seam the sides. So with wrong sides together, make sure that seam's right on the very edge. And we're going to stitch at six mil, quarter of an inch from the top, but we're going to stop that same distance away from the bottom edge and that should meet up exactly with our French seaming at the bottom and give us a really nice crisp corner like that. So go ahead and do that for the other three. Just make sure all those straps are out of the way. So, now we are going to do the very last thing, which is to sew the top of the straps, the handles down. I'm just going to go away and do a bit of quality control work, which basically means tidying my threads off. Your bag should be really taking shape now, you should be able to see what's going on, but the last step is just to stitch our straps down. So what we're going to do is stitch around the top of our bag. Um, you can stitch it from the inside like this or from the outside 
I'm going to stitch mine from the outside. I just like the way that looks. So I'm just going to turn my bag inside out to make it easier on me. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the strap up and around like that and I'm going to stitch it down here. And those French seams, when I stitch over it, I want them to face in opposite directions. So the side of the straps, I'm going to make them push out and the side without the straps, I'm going to make them push in. So the side of my strap needs to butt into that seam. And I'm just going to sew this at six mil, quarter of an inch. You could sew right on the edge if you want. Now if you wanted to do some decorative stitching reinforcing, you could do a little X there. Now's the time to do that. And your bag is finished. So you might like to go and give that a press where you can. Thanks so much for joining me and as always thank you for buying my patterns and supporting a small business. Um, if you like what you see please hit the thumbs up and if you haven't done so already the subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon for another sew along video.